we got for a bit of a, a Jekyll and Hyde performance there. Thought first half we were on it, and second half not so much. I think too many individual and collective mistakes on the second half, really. Yeah, I can't, I can't not. Def- oh, okay, we only on that. Uh, when you come away from home, like we did Liversidge, uh, we give a really good account of ourselves. First half competed well, um, missed two, three really big opportunities again, didn't we? Kieran's yep. header with the near post. Devs four yards out and, yeah. and, and misses the target, and that, that's just a story of the season. It, it, it doesn't really improve on that. Uh, and second half, you can tell why well, they're top of the league. Yeah, uh, big, yeah. strong, yeah. really good side. Um, but today wasn't about performance for me or the result. It was about um, some really poor individual, um, unprofessional, um, not dedicated to, to, to the cause, uh, which I'll deal with um, behind the scenes. But people being late. It's just unacceptable on a, on a Saturday. Um, something that grinds me and met him really bad. You, mm. set, you set your stall out and you're getting players turning up at half two, 23. Um, blaming traffic, blaming weather. Um, everybody else got there on time. Um, four or five really let themselves down. Not wearing the right footwear. Could turn up in moulds. I've never known it at a semi professional level, mm. never mind a Sunday league level. Um, so, yeah, um, that's really disappointing because we had to adjust the warm up. Um, Certain players have to play, and just really disappointing. Um, but yeah, we always knew we was gonna. And if I'm being honest with you, I thought we'd get beat four or five today. After that. Mm. Um, been in the game long enough to know that um, if you don't apply yourself in the right manner, um, don't dedicate yourself to the football club or dedicate yourself to the profession. Um, football will chew you up and spit you out. Um, and that's if you just step off at a percentage. Um, not to be in the right footwear and be unprofessional and not turn up on time is is you, you're just a recipe for disaster. You cannot shoot the game, um, and that's why we've lost the game today. Because the football gods will go, you don't deserve to win today. Um, you don't prepare right. You don't get yourself here. Um, you're up against it, especially when you come to, to a team that's going to win the league. Yeah. These are the best team I've seen at this level by far, um, and we competed really well first off. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, poor start, but that was because of the warm up. That was because we waiting for players to turn up. Um, midweek can get it. Midweek can get that you late. Um, work, whatever, but when, you, when you've got all morning to get to, to a game, uh, you know, get here early, get here yourself, plenty of times, coffee shops, there's, there's places at the ground you can sit and get early, um, so that's really angered me today, um, so yeah, I'll take away some uh, three or four of the individuals and uh, we'll deal with that in a week. But short studs, long studs, there's a few areas on out there where you need raiders. <laughs> And that's not, that's yeah. not an excuse because they cope with it and, and we didn't, did we? No, we didn't second half and that's the disappointing thing because you look at Bobby, got all the attributes, going to be a really top defender, got bullied today second half by two experienced conference north centre forwards. Listen, we're, neat, we're a step four team and they've got step two players. Yeah. So listen, you know, okay. they're, they're a top side and credit to them, we've got to give them credit. Um, they, I look at their team sheet, probably one of the two changes from when we played them back in September. Mm. We've had 304 changes, yeah, um, yeah. so you know that consistency that you get when you're winning games. Everyone's on contract. That's why they're top of the league. Mm. Um, but second half on a, on a mud heap, they really put us to the sword. And um, again, can't question the last work rate. You know, but we said it before at Liverpool. You know, the reason why we've got 17 league goals is because we can't sit the ball in the nets in yeah. six yards. From six yards, yeah. Not yeah. talking in 18 yards from yeah. six yards. Header in the six-yard box, wide. Dev six yards out. Done it in the net. Uh, second half, Perksy. Same, same again, yeah. Same again, Dev again. So we've come away from top of the league and we've concentrated great, four great chances and come away with another blank. So uh, everything that was positive against Stocksbridge today was zapped before the game. It was nothing to do with the, 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 the performance on the pitch or the work over, but we didn't apply ourselves right as players. Um, but we're responsible for that. So as much as we can apply ourselves, um, yeah, just disappointed in the whole uh, set today. And you mentioned Bobby, that they've done it world of good though, playing against, like you said, somebody who's a step two. Yeah. And he didn't he didn't disgrace himself, did he? No, 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 didn't Did disgrace himself. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a massive well, learning for him. Yeah, bang on the head, got up, got carried on. Obviously, we lost Jamo early to a class of heads. Um, but again, I thought we were well in the game at half time at 1 0. Um, don't take chances, you always hope yeah. top teams will just turn on. They can have a bad 10 minutes to top teams, punish them then. Um, not let them off the hook and that's yeah. what we did and we've done that for the majority of the season but we'll give it another go next Saturday we're not going to stay up on, against teams like Mask we're not, <laughs> these aren't the games we, these are bonus points Yeah, we've got all the teams to play in and around us um, you know but you know, believe me, or me you and me there's going to be some uh, 
some tough sessions coming up at the weekend, <laughs> um, and some players will wish they never turned turned up late, or wish they never turned up in the attitude they did. Um, and that'll be pleased for me and Mets to see, and um, they'll never do it again. That's for sure. It's a pity the tips aren't still there, Gaffer. You should get them running up down there as a punishment. That'll do them good. Well, we'll pretend they're there. <laughs> we'll pretend they're there, and they can they can run up there. But listen, it's uh, like I said, you know, um, we've got to, we've got to pick up points against the teams in and around us. Yeah. And, uh, there's no dime in my mind, we've got plenty of them in there. We need one or two more in, which I'll be looking to do this week um, to try and supplement that. Um, and unfortunately, one or two will leave the club, and that's just the way football isn't it? We yeah. give them opportunities to play a step for a good football club. Mm. Don't disrespect us, don't disrespect the team, don't disrespect the football club because it's not here, as simple as that. But we move on, we just ourselves yeah. down, and we, uh, we look forward to Dunstan next week and uh, crack on. Cheers, Gaffer, let's hope there's no snowdrifts, aren't we? Exactly, yeah, <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs>